it's time to add in the next week's sheet to your app. I would recommend having two tabs open, Glide and your Google Sheet. First step you're going to need to do is come down to your template, make any changes to parent emails or student names that are necessary, keep your email in here, and then click on the shark tooth, select duplicate, and then find the duplication of your template sheet. First thing I recommend you do is change the name to reflect the current week. And enter for it to stick. And then before we go back to the Glide app, let's make sure we have all of our assignments in here first. You can copy and paste, you can type in here, whatever best suits your purpose. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to simply copy and paste from last week. Remember to select E1, this very first one, we can get rid of this information. And now we're ready to go back to our Glide app. You can leave this tab right where it's at. Go back to Glide. And now we're ready to click on Tabs. Refresh your page. If you get a message like this, you definitely want to say yes. And then in the top right hand corner, you can click the plus sign. If you want to verify that your sheet came through into Glide, it would be a good time to come over and uh, look at your data. You can see down here, you now have three tabs. While we're here, let's go ahead and complete the step of giving the owners the row owner its job. Click on the shark tooth and parent email, say make row owner, and you'll see this little purplish blue person appear. Go back to tabs, and now we want to add that tab into our app. Click the plus sign. You want to definitely look at your source and select your new sheet. You'll also need to change the label up here. You can see on the mock-up of your app down here, it labeled it new tab. We want to call it this week's dates. Change the icon if you'd like. And then remember, one of the last things that we need to do is change the layout. The details view gives us the best look. Each week it's going to pull through the parent email column, and that's okay. I would just come over here and click the X to get rid of it. Select a parent that you'd like to preview this app as. And you'll see that the student's name is here and there is nothing for the week of April 27th to May 1st. That's true because you've not marked anything. And just like last week, until you mark something, um, some kind of narrative for that assignment, there will be nothing that shows up on the app. But the parent will be able to see that this new week's tab has been added. Best part, you don't even need to notify your parents that you've added this week, when they click into the app, they'll be able to see it. Repeat this process each week, and it would be ideal to send an email out to let parents know that you're continuing to update. Congratulations.